Cut the joint using a blade that is at most one third of the width of the joint. Cut along the center of the joint using multiple passes to achieve the desired depth. Do not use a circular blade on vertical joints. Use a chisel and a hammer to remove the mortar above and below the cut in the mortar. Position the chisel blade close to the lip of the brick without actually touching the brick and gently tap the chisel with the hammer until the mortar comes loose. Remove the loose mortar pieces when they get in the way. For vertical joints, start at the bottom of the joint, chiseling away small pieces of mortar as you work your way up the joint to avoid damaging the brick. A pneumatic chisel may be used for quicker mortar removal, but extra care must be taken to avoid damage to the brick. When using a pneumatic chisel, try to square cut the back of the joint to allow proper mortar replacement. Use a brush to remove any remaining pieces of mortar and dust from the joints and horizontal lip of the bricks. Thoroughly rinse the joints and face of the bricks to remove any remaining dust. The wall should be clean and free of any removal debris prior to mortar installation. Wash from the top of the wall down as to avoid spreading debris to previously cleaned areas. Walls should be pre-wetted multiple times before the mortar is installed. The water will need time to absorb into the existing brick and mortar and will require many rounds of re-wetting. Allow the water to soak into the wall before re-wetting. The joints are ready to point when it takes a few minutes for the wall to absorb water and all standing water on the wall has been absorbed or shedded off the surface.